This is the second part of creating sheet metal parts in Rhino. If you haven't seen the first part, I recommend you watch that first as it's going over creating what you're seeing right now on screen. Uh, the purpose of this part of the video is to create flattened drawings from these uh, sheet metal parts. Let's do some organization before doing so. And we'll do that by renaming this layer. And I'll rename it into phone holder back. And this one is the phone holder center. And let's make some sub layers into those layers. I'll do that by creating a new layer and drag and drop it onto that layer. I'll call this uh, solids. Let's uh, add this color to our palette here. And do the same for uh, this color. And now I can make this the same as my original phone holder back layer color. So I make one solids layer and also make another sub layer called surfaces. Let's do the same for phone holder center. Now that that, that is set up, I will change these parts to the solids layer. I'll do the same for the phone holder center. Now that that is done, let's continue creating the surfaces for the uh, center part here. And as mentioned before, we created the flattened part from the inner surfaces of our sheet metal. So let's do that by extracting surfaces and do that to current layer as a copy. Once that is done, we can hide the solids layer, join this result and see what happens if we uh, flatten this with Unroll Surf. And as you can see, Rhino does a fair job, but uh, it's not completely correct uh, because this part of the surface needs to be attached to that part. So this part here needs to be attached to this one. The reason that this happens is because this edge now is a closed edge and Rhino has to make guesses which to fold open. So we can help Rhino a little bit. Let's delete it part. And you use unjoin edge on these particular edges. Once that is done, we'll do the unroll serve again. And then the unroll part is correct. And uh, to create the outline of it for uh, our drawings, we'll use a duplicate border. So dot border. And also use a dot edge on all the fold lines. Those lines um, we can change while they're still selected to have a different kind of line type. And uh, let's make these dashed and delete the surface. That concludes creating the centerpiece. Let's do the same now for the phone holder back piece. 
So activate that layer and hide our centerpiece. Activating the surfaces layer and I'm making an extracted copy of the inside surfaces again. Uh, joining the results, hiding our solids and using Unroll Surf. So before doing uh, the duplicate border and duplicate edges, I'll reorient this piece first with Rotate. Then duplicating the border and duplicating the edges and making them dashed. Now before concluding this video I'd like to say a few words about line widths and with regard to printing. Uh, if we make layouts of these drawings let's make one and hide this from the detail with hide in detail make this one to one scale now if we would print this to a preview then we get an idea of how this looks once we make a PDF of it. As you can see the line widths are very thin and that is because the default line widths in Rhino are hairlines. So let's cancel this one and fix our line widths uh, first. I'll do that by moving all the curves to new layers and assigning the um, curves to layer called borders. and the dashed lines or moved them to the fold lines um, now this line type is set by object i'll do it again by layer and uh, i'll change the line type right in the layer as well as the print width. So let's make this slightly larger. And as you can see, uh, the defaults are assigned, and default is a hairline. So we'll change borders to 0.35 and the fold lines to uh, 0.13. Let's see how this looks in preview. And as you can see, that looks a lot already better. Uh, now, only thing we need to change is the line type for our fold lines. And that again, we do in the line type of the fold line layer. So we can either use dashed or hidden. Let's use dashed. And let's go back to our layouts to see what the result is. That concludes this video. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know down here in the comments or otherwise through Teams.